everyone and welcome back to Ree's Kitchen. In our gluten-free series today, we're gonna to be making Vietnamese rice paper rolls. These are perfect for taking to those family and friend events at this time of year. Very easy to make, best to be eaten on the day that we make them. So let's get started with our ingredients. So first up we have finely diced spring onion, de-seeded and then finely chopped cucumber, some shredded iceberg lettuce, for the noodles, these are bean cellophane noodles, or you could use rice noodle. Rice paper roll wrappers. Avocado. Vietnamese mint. Cooked prawns with their tails intact. And then for our dipping sauces, we have some crushed peanuts, some hoisin sauce, gluten-free of course, and some sweet chilli sauce. So the first thing we need to do is prep our noodles. Now today I'm going to be using these bean cellophane noodles and they just require being soaked in cold water for 10 to 15 minutes. If you're using the rice noodle you will need to boil those and then strain them. But these are perfect, they come in nice little small packages and it's also good when you're working with the kids that you're not needing to be using anything with boiling water. So let's pop them into a bowl and I'm just going to cover them with cold water out of the tap. and then let them sit there for about 10 or 15 minutes. And with all regional recipes, there's always lots of variants. I like the iceberg lettuce because it has a nice crunch, but there's no reason why you couldn't use cabbage or a Chinese cabbage as well. So to get our green ingredients ready, we're just gonna to toss in our cucumber and our spring onions. The important thing when we're choosing our, re our ingredients here is that we have something soft, something crunchy, something sweet, something sour in our mix. So I'll just toss that through a bit so when I grab a handful I'm grabbing a bit of everything. And now to prep our avocado. So simplest way. Cut her in half. Now the easiest way to get the pip out is with a sharp knife, whack it into the pip, twist and out she comes. Clean and easy. Alright, I'm just going to take it out whole. So to prep our Vietnamese mint, which is a bitey, sharp form of mint, we, I like to leave my leaves whole and it makes a decorative look inside the rice paper roll or you can chop it finely and pop it through with your lettuces. So I'm just going to pick the leaves, the nice big ones, I want to make sure I haven't got one that's been nibbled. So we're just about ready to put all these together and as you can see here, my noodles have all separated and they're all soft and ready to go. So I just need to strain this. So. And now to put them all together. So I've got first up here a damp tea towel that I've put down on my bench. And here I have a baking dish with some tap hot water in it. So using our rice paper roll wrapper, and I like the size that are about a butter plate rather than the large ones, I find them tricky to roll. We just dip our wrapper in the warm water for three to five seconds till it starts to soften. It'll continue to soften on our tea towel. Okay, now with our prawns, we just need to take the tails off. them in the middle, then one of our Vietnamese mint leaves and we put that down so the decorative side is facing out when we roll. A small piece of the avocado. A bit of noodle. And a little bit of our lettuce mix. OK, 
Okay, now folding the ends up and it will stick to itself, which is what we want it to do. We want to make sure that the join is on the bottom and that way once I then pop them on our plate that will seal. Voila. Now we just keep going. Now the last thing we need to do is get our dipping sauces ready. So this is just a commercially bought sweet chilli sauce and it's ready straight out of the bottle. But hoisin sauce is a slightly tricky one. Now make sure that you're getting a tamari hoisin sauce and not a regular one made with soy sauce because being gluten free, so no wheat, oats, barley and rye, means we can't have soy sauce. So a tamari based hoisin sauce, easily found at your local supermarket. Now here I just have some roasted unsalted peanuts that I finely chopped, so we're going to put a little bit in our bowl, give it a stir, and then for decoration I'm just going to sprinkle a couple more on top. If you're not going to be eating these in the next half hour or so, cover them with a damp tea towel before you take them to your party and serve them to your guests. But now, as always, the best part is in the eating. And if you've enjoyed today's video, please subscribe and the full recipe is on my blog listed below. So here we go. The flavours work so well together. There's crisp, there's smooth, there's a bit spicy, there's a bit salty, but the hoisin sauce, just perfect. So until next time everybody, ciao.